What's up? Back to the Beast Lab. My name is Greg Beast, and I'm ready to give you guys some first step counter work with your SNG face-offs. Now, I do have pure counters in this library, step one and two. Uh, those two parts of pure counters were based on knee down face-offs. So, I wanted to give you guys a refresher and updated version of this for SNG only draws with the NCA rules. And I want to give you guys this third column. Now, remember, we've talked about it before. First column, top side wall dominant. Second column is our bottom side wall dominant moves. Our third column is a column we never had before, which is one step counters on the whistle. So now what I want to show you are different variations and when you want to use them, okay? Because it's very important you don't use the wrong counter. Now, I'm seeing some, some stuff out there. Yes, you want to be careful when you have to remember the rules. You can't hit a guy in the arm. It's got to be the glove. You got to lift the glove, okay? So if you're coming around and you're getting a guy's arm, that's not legal and it's going to be very restrict, uh, uh, enforced very strictly. Now, you also have to remember there's guys doing some weird stuff out there right now, and I understand it's because we're all trying to figure this SNG only stuff out. Take it from somebody who's done this. If you are going out there and you're trying to butt end counter somebody, you're going to get away with it against guys who don't know what they're doing yet. When you try to do this against an elite level face off guy, you're going to get absolutely destroyed. You're not going to have time. So let me show you guys the streamlined version and the counters that actually work. So the first step counter, first step counter means on the whistle, you're immediately going to counter. It's premeditated. Okay, it's not a reactionary counter where you lose the clamp. So my first step counter, the first thing we're gonna do is call it a shovel counter. So the shovel counter is on the whistle. I know that my opponent, I'm gonna concede the clamp portion of this face off. And what I'm gonna do is I'm immediately gonna slide my stick underneath their left hand. Now remember, we've talked about this before. When you look at the layers, okay, on the face off, if you can't do a quick clamp, can't keep your left hand down. A lot of guys right now are lifting the left hand every time, no matter what. If your opponent's doing that, then this is easy. This is easy to, to study. So on the whistle, what you're gonna do is as they lift their left hand to punch into the ball, you're gonna lift right in between their hands and you're gonna step to the midline. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna disrupt their clamp. Their head's gonna come up off the turf, which means the ball has to come out. So you're gonna drive them off the ball. So this is something that you would throw in there every third, fourth, or fifth rep to keep your opponent honest. Because if they're wondering if you're gonna lift their stick, it's gonna affect their mechanics, right? So on the whistle, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drive off with my drive foot. My plant foot is actually gonna step. I'm gonna get under their stick first, and then as I lift, I'm gonna to step towards the midline to drive them back. The ball should be here. If the ball's not here, that means it's stuck in their stick and it's a procedure call anyway. So you're gonna lift, turn, and then box out and scoop. Now, the second variation of this is also premeditated. This is called a fish hook, and we've been teaching this since 2010. Okay, on the whistle, I'm gonna let go of my left hand. I'm gonna slide my right hand underneath their glove, so as they clamp and their stick comes over my hand, then I'm gonna lift their glove with my, with my glove, and the ball will slide out right here. Okay, so basically you're in and then out. Okay, now, what are people gonna yell if they don't understand face-offs? They're gonna yell that you're using your free hand, okay? Because you took your hand off the stick. Remember, it's not a free hand penalty unless you use the free hand, okay? Just like you can check someone's stick on a ground ball and pick it up. If I put my left hand on the ground, I'm underneath their stick, and now I lift their glove with my stick, boom, and because I'm coming up on this arced motion, the ball will fly out right in front of me, okay? So that's a good, great way to catch people off guard. Third variation is a reactionary uh, type of counter. Yes, you can set somebody up for this, but that will require a lot of training. Um, so if you want to train with me, I'll, I'll teach you how to do that. But uh, this is more of a reactionary thing. This is called a reverse shovel. You do not want to do a reverse shovel as a first step move because on the whistle, and this is the reverse shovel, so the shovel comes in front, reverse shovel comes around and lifts their glove from the backside. On the whistle, if I do this, 
even if I nail this, I'm giving my opponent a fixed break. So you got to be careful with that. Okay, so what you want to do in order as a reactionary move, you drive in your first move, boom, you tie them up for one split second. The most important thing now is to get your right foot across. Once your opponent is squared up here, you can easily come around. Now your leg is blocking them from popping it out forward, and your you come around underneath their glove, and you pull the ball, and the ball will come right through your legs. Okay? You squared them up so they're stuck. They can't go around you. So that's how you would set that up. Okay, so you have your first step move. Your first step counter is a shovel to lift in between the gloves to get your opponent to get their head off the ground. The second move is the fish hook, premeditated, coming underneath to try to quickly pull the ball out in front of you for a break. And then the third is reactionary, that's a reverse shovel. We're gonna step in front after we get locked up and then we're gonna pull that ball through our legs, okay? Thanks a lot, guys. Hey, make sure you subscribe. I'm gonna be coming up with more and more videos as we get going on this. Let's upgrade, because it's upgrade season.